Carpet flooring in my 1968 Datsun pickup truck was not an option. And it's still not an option for me today. Rubber mats are no longer available, so I'm gonna make my own floor using linoleum. Kitchen or bathroom, linoleum. Where there is a will, there's a way, and nothing is impossible for the one and only infamous Kentucky Yankee without a doubt. Last video, we painted the floor inside and out. It's all dried up. Now we need to seal the seams. Sometimes people don't believe me, but I found this sealer on the side of the road, a couple tubes of it, two or three, and it says it's for metal roofing and panel adhesive sealant, so this should work just fine for seam sealer for what we're doing on this truck. And it is black, so that's a bonus. Don't have to worry about making it pretty, just get it on here. And that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna go over the top of all these welds just to make sure. But you know when I painted it, there was only like one or two little tiny pinholes where I welded this whole floor, only one or two pinholes showed up. You know, the paint will run out of it. And I should have just sealed those up, but it won't hurt to seal all these welds just to make sure we don't have any water intrusion. I know you can't see it from over there, but if you're wondering how it looks, sloppy, messy, and sealed. Two different colors, one was brown, one was black. I guess that's why it was free on the side of the road. This is always how it ends up for me with the sealer. I start out, small amount, seal the seam, everything's working out great. I slowly put more and more on, get sloppier and sloppier, and before you know it, we got kind of a mess going on, but it's okay for this application because it's all sealed up and gonna be covered by floor dampener. Ah, uh, sound deadener. If you're wondering why everything on this truck is not being done perfectly, then that means you haven't been watching the series. I'll leave the playlist in the description below and you can get caught up, and then all of this that I'm doing will make sense to you. While I was sealing up the floor, I noticed there's a hump right here. I thought it was factory, but it's not. I'm gonna have to smack it back down. You see that crease right there? Something caused that. That wasn't made that way. Problem solved. Because I used tailgates and scrap pieces of metal to repair this floor, it's uneven. Like this spot, this is a piece of tailgates in and out like that. So I'm going to fill it in with this spray foam and get it sanded down so it's level. Then we'll put the sound deadener over the top of that and it should be nice and smooth and we'll have a nice floor. I'm not doing it back here in the back, only in the front where you can see, but I just wanted to show it to you here. The lighting's better. Woo! If you're wondering if this is gonna work, you're not alone. So am I. <laughs> I have no clue. We'll see. This is butyl tape. All it is is like a waterproof tape. It's rubbery on this side, aluminum on this side. I'm just using it to cover up these corners, make them look a little better. This is frivolous, not necessary, because it's already waterproof, but I don't like the way it looks with that sealer kind of slopped on there. Thinking about doing this whole back, I don't know. I don't really want to spend the money on it. This stuff costs money. I just took some spray paint and blacked out the back, the sealer that was brown. I don't want to waste my butyl tape on the back there, it doesn't need it. The foam is all poofy and I think it's dry enough to work with. I'm going to try and cut some of it. <laughs> Look at that! Ah, oh, rats! Wasn't dried. But man, it, that cut it right. Hmm. Better let it cure up some more. That's too bad. But man, can I fillet a fish. So that's what happened. I just need to let it cure out some more. It's still wet down in here. Mm. 
Just waiting for that foam glue to dry. Ah. It's just weird. The centers are just hollow and not, they're not dry. I'm taking some pieces, scrap pieces, and filling it in like that. And that, that'll work, that'll make it level. We're not gonna call this a success, but we will keep it positive. This was a learning experience. I won't do it again, it just didn't work out very well. However, I still think it's good enough to put the sound dampening over it and it should stay level. Basically, what this stuff is is a quarter inch foam. I may have already explained that. Sticky back and aluminum foil or some kind of silver. I'm gonna tell you something. It's not really that easy to put down. <laughs> I mean you can, but there's all these curves and contours and stuff and just like this piece, it's like a triangle that I just had to do just the way I did it. And now I'm thinking maybe cut this out to make it square so I can move on. No surprise, once it's down, it's stuck. And if you tear it up, if you bring it back up, it's just gonna be ripped the foam off. Look at that, that's not bad. I'm happy with that. This stuff came with tape for the seams, so I'm gonna do that now. I've got no way of getting a camera in here where you guys can get right up on it. And I apologize for that. They give you quite a bit of tape. I think I'm gonna have enough to do all of my seams. Jumping ahead here, I'm kind of making a pattern out of some vinyl and cardboard. Then I will transfer that pattern to the linoleum. These notches will be transferred onto my linoleum so that I can match everything back up again. I'm just using chalk to trace the pattern. I'm just cutting it on the outside line right now and then I'll trim it up, clean it up on the inside. It's just, when it's a smaller piece, a lot easier to work with. This linoleum is like a soft foam back, see? So it's not the real hard stuff, it's flexible. This is when you step on it, it feels soft. And this is more rubbery, and I think that's why this is gonna work to sew together. Look, it's like a rubber band almost. There it goes, it finally gave. This is the first time I've done this, so I'm having to work my way through it. Right here and now I'm using that cardboard to make a pattern for the sides. Here's what I came up with for the patterns, and it should work out good. Let's see how it fits. Line my marks up here. And this side looks pretty good, and this side looks good. Now we'll sew this to that. This is double sided tape I'm using before I put the vinyl. And this is for the French seam, the two stitches side by side. This black vinyl is to reinforce the seam. I always like using the same color 
as the material to reinforce the seam. That way if you can see through the stitches, all you'll see is black. You won't even see black on this material. You won't see anything. So after I get this all on, I will stitch it up. So there it is all stitched up. I did both sides and I also did the flaps right here that go along the side. We don't need the back of course because it's covered by the seat. I put this on the top. It's a trim because it just finishes it out in my opinion. And the sides don't need it because they're going to have things that cover it. So let's get it in the truck and see what it looks like. I will explain after we get it in there what I would have done different. There it is, finished product. I still need to secure it down somehow. I don't really want to glue it. I was thinking push pins, but I still also have to make kick panels. And then there are the pieces that fit on the side that will help hold the mat in place also. Although this was a soft type linoleum, it's still very difficult to work with. So what I would have done different, I think, is I would have made this center piece separate and I would have made it longer so it could have draped underneath this part right here and then I would have just laid these on top because it was very difficult to get this right down through here just perfect. Other than that, I'm happy with it. I'm still going to make some floor mats. It would be nice to find some material that just has some stretch to it because this doesn't really stretch much. I mean very little and that's why it was so difficult to work with. Would I do it again? Yep, and I'll probably do it on that other cab when we get done with it. This is a good practice run. There has been some progress taking place on our 1968 Datsun 520. I got the cab on the frame. It's not bolted down yet, but we are getting there. I would have liked to show you guys a little bit more detail about this floor and how I sewed it all up, but it was kind of stressful for me, so I had to just kind of get it done. Thanks for watching, it can be done. You can put a kitchen or bathroom floor in your pickup truck or car. Until next time, I am the one and only infamous Kentucky Yankee without a doubt.